What is Pershing's strategic vision for what lies ahead? I'm joined today by the perfect person to answer that question, Tom Schultz from BNY Mellon Pershing. Hey Tom, welcome. Hi hey, Matt. So when you hear words like strategic vision, you're used to all this strategy stuff. What is kind of your vision for where Pershing's headed from here? Sure. Um, let me start with where we, the company, so sure. BNY Mellon. We look at ourselves as being the trusted financial institution for our clients and employees, not only today, but for the future. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because we are their outsourcing partner. So we need to be there for them. They have to trust us. They'll be their support, support their needs now and into the future. So that's where we see us uh, playing that role. So when you think about playing that role as this trusted resource for your client, what does that mean? Like, what are some of the you know, opportunities, the solutions that you can offer as you kind of provide that trust for them? Sure, um, we start with their needs. Like, what are the needs? What's driving the marketplace? What are the trends around things like advisory and technology and experience that really drive us? So we look to our clients and say, what are their needs based on the trends in the marketplace? So really focus on delivering solutions to meet those needs. So I, when I think about it, it's, um, they're focused on talent. So how do they retain and recruit talent? And that's what we're trying to do, be able to provide them with the right service. We think about experience. So all consumers have been spoiled by experiences like Uber and Amazon, yeah. so that's what you look for. Um, so how do we deliver better experience, help them deliver better experiences to service their investor? Um, we think about advisory, the trend to advisory, and how they're dealing with that, and we're developing solutions to help them get their Pershing X being a great example. Experience is everything these days, and it's sometimes harder because what you're expecting from your back-end support is, sometimes I always say, you want it to be quick, you want it to load well, and you want it to make you look good in front of your client. How do you ensure that you're always making these advisors look good to their clients? Um, you said the perfect, perfect setup for that yeah. now, which is its back office. Yes. So we have to invest in the infrastructure so it's scalable, it's secure, and our clients back to trust, the trust that it'll work. When they turn on the light switch, they expect them to go on. Right. When they turn on their computer, they expect us to be there, right? And that translates into, then it delivers a front-end experience. I don't know if you've seen our, our yeah. Pershing NetX 360 Plus, so industry-leading front-end experience, so that the advisor's pleased with what they can deal with, and the investor, it's easy for them to use as well. And what impressed me as I've looked at some of the different things here at Pershing Insight was the way you guys are always forward looking too. You know, you're looking at technology around the metaverse, you're looking at technology, always that kind of steps ahead. So when you think about the future, it's gotta be pretty exciting. Oh, we're really focused on delivering great solutions like uh, an enhanced alternative investment platform. They can have the newest, newest uh, instruments that they need. Um, digital assets, the bank is leading us down the path on creating digital asset capabilities, which we're looking forward to adding into the future. So we're always thinking about what's next. Um, Pershing X, a great example. How do we deliver an interoperable solution uh, for advice that really doesn't, doesn't exist in, uh, in the marketplace today? Pershing's doing amazing things. You're leading the way on the strategy. It's such a pleasure to talk to you, Tom. Thanks for making some time today. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Hey, for Advisorpedia, I'm Matt Ackerman.